Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues as we go inside, a little behind-the-scenes look at the NWCA All-Star Classic. Our weight class today, 157 pounds. It'll be Max Roskopf of NC State. His opponent, proudly wearing the maize and blue, is Brian Murphy from the University of Michigan. He joins us now. Does Brian Murphy. Brian, how are you? I'm great. So congratulations on being invited to help kick off the season of college wrestling. It takes place November 5th at the Wolstein Center on the campus of Cleveland State. How did you find out that you were being considered and invited to this event? Uh, my, my coach, Joe McFarland, uh, shot me a text last weekend, and you know I was really excited. Uh, I, was, I was really hoping to get the invite this year. I got the invite last year, but couldn't really, with my body, couldn't, couldn't make the trip, so... But this year, I'm going to do it. Yeah. All right. All right. So coming out of Carroll Street, Illinois, you are at Glenbard North. Now, I have a little bit of knowledge about Glenbard North. My my old roommate, uh, old college football buddy of mine from the University of Iowa, actually uh, wrestled or played football there. You guys are a big-time powerhouse in wrestling at Carroll Street. Let's talk about a little bit about your time there. Uh, did you go – you were a four-time state place winner, but was it a three-time finalist? Yep, I took third my freshman year and then took second every other year. So so that gave you kind of a calling card for universities to, to, take, a, uh, to take a look at you and gave you the opportunity to look at various universities. How did it boil down to Michigan? Um, well, I had a good relationship with uh, my coach, Sean Bormet. Uh, he, he ran overtime wrestling in, in Illinois, Naperville. Uh, so I, I was in you know, we, we got in contact and he, he brought me out for a visit and I, I just loved all the people there and, and in the, in the academics, uh, and, the they just had, they had just built the Bonner wrestling center. So, you know, it was just, it was, it was a great place to be. And on top of all that, they were having a, a great recruiting class coming in. Uh, we were ranked like number one recruiting class that year. Uh, so we were really excited. Well, Sean Bormat, you bring him up as a coach that you admire. And, of course, with Sean Bormat going to Michigan, you also got Joe McFarland. I want to go back to Sean for a minute. Overtime school is perhaps the hardest school uh, or wrestling club to find without some kind of uh, 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 electronic device to help get you. Even then, when you when you get there, you don't even know that you're there. You know, yeah. overtime school is just hard to find. But once you're there, man, I tell you what, a lot of good wrestlers have gone through there. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I uh, especially my freshman sophomore year of high school, the the talent there was just unbelievable, and uh, I think it's a big part of why I you know, continue to wrestle in college. So, uh, so you get the call to come down to Ohio and wrestle at the All Star Classic, 157 pounds. You're going to be comfortable there. Your opponent, on the other hand, is moving down a weight class this year, and uh, that puts him squarely in your sights. Have you guys ever? competed against each other uh no we have not i've, I've never wrestled them so. so here's what i see i see how tall are you i'm about five ten and a half five ten and a half he's kind of long and lanky as well but this is going to be a great battle how are you preparing for it um you know i'm just trying to better myself every day i'm not i'm try, not really focused on the other guy here um I, i've had a really good off season and i've just focused on keeping my pace high and uh you know, I, I feel really ready for this. You uh, did real well, I think, last year, given the condition that you were in. You suffered from some injuries last year. How are you How are you feeling this year at this point in the uh, the season? Uh, the body's all healed up, so I'm ready to go. I'm ready to have a good season this year, uh, hopefully injury-free. <laughs> are, are, you, are you like most athletes when uh, you do get injured, you get antsy? You want to get better real quick. Is it hard for you to, to, to follow? That is for me. I mean, I just had back surgery, and, man, I want to get right after it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had a couple injuries when I, when I was freshman and sophomore, and uh, my biggest mistake was definitely trying to push it and come back sooner. Uh, I think it hurt me. Um, I, I didn't really let my, my knee my freshman year heal up, and it, it kind of got in my head. Um, so, I, I you know, it, it's just – just have to realize that it all March is what matters and you got to prepare for that and not really push it if you're feeling an injury or something. 
So I like that. March that is what matters, and that's absolutely yeah. true. This year we're heading to St. Louis and that uh, championship city and the old Scott Trade Center. I tell you what, it's going to be, what, 18, 19,000 fans. And your goal, obviously, is to be there on Saturday night. Uh, and that's, uh, for most wrestlers, that's, uh, that's the place to be. Uh, t- talk to me about your experience last year at the NCAA championships in New York. What'd you think of that? Uh, it, it was awesome. Um, the only, the only tough part was taking the subway to the Madison square garden every, every session, but you know, it, it was good. Um, but I, I'm really excited for St. Louis. That was, uh, that's my favorite place. I think to, <laughs> For the NCAAs. I, I, absolutely I absolutely agree. agree. It's, it's one of those towns those that you can really, really spread your wings and you don't have to worry about parking or hotels. Everything is within walking distance or that little train they've got there. That's pretty cool, too. But the building itself is a championship-level building. Yep. And uh, it's amazing what they can put into that facility. Uh, we're talking with uh, Brian Murphy. Brian will be facing off against uh, the Always Tuck tough Max Roscoff from NC State. This is a battle that's brewing of two powerful programs. Your your school, Michigan, has been there 37 times, or with you attending, will uh, mark Michigan's 37th, 37th appearance in the All-Star Classic. Are you aware of that? Uh, yeah, I think I read some something about that. Um, I, I don't know. You know, I haven't, uh, I don't know a lot of the guys that have been there uh, before, but you know, I know we had three guys there last year that they did pretty well, so I'm excited. They liked it. So, uh, what, what's your relationship like with uh, your big man there on campus? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. Your heavyweight, uh, Adam. Adam, Adam Coon. Yeah. Tell me, what's what's uh, what's Adam like to be around? Uh, he's awesome. He's he's always high spirited kid. Um, he's he's very optimistic all the time. And he's a, he's a good leader, you know. It's he's a good guy to take after. He 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 doesn't make any mistakes uh, socially or um, training wise. He's always working hard. So he he's a great he's a great aspect to have in our room. And he's darn big. I mean, I <laughs> yeah, can't. He's he, never right now with this injury. He, he put on a little weight, but he's he's going to cut back down pretty so, soon. So I think he wants to be like a either a doctor or a rocket scientist or. Uh, yeah, he's in um, uh, he's in engineering, and he wants to be an astronaut. I'm pretty there sure. There it is. Okay, so I've interviewed my share of astronauts over the year. He's a big one for sure. If if in fact he gets uh, selected and elected to be an astronaut, what is your goal, and what are you studying at uh, at University of Michigan? I'm studying English, and um, I'm still unsure. Uh, there's a possibility that I, I try to wrestle after college, depending on how my body holds up. So um, that I think that's the main goal. Um, and then possibly be, uh, after that, coaching college wrestling. So so if I go back, um, you won a, uh, a cadet freestyle national championship in 2010. Is that right? Uh, correct. All right, so four-time All-American. There's not a chance we'll see you in Greco, right? No. Okay, yeah. just freestyle. And and if we can look down the road, what weight class would you prefer to wrestle in internationally? Probably um, seventy-four kilos. I've been I've been putting on a lot, a little bit of weight, um, okay. especially this past summer. So seventy-four kilos. Well, that fits a five ten, five eleven frame for sure. I think that would be good. We're talking with Brian Murphy, by the way. He uh, is going to be heading to the 2016 NWCA All-Star Classic, presented by the Brewer Garrett Company, hosted by the Wrestlers and Business Network. Takes place November 5th. Matches start at 6, main event about 7. Tickets are 15 bucks. Group options are available. Look for tickets at Northeast Ohio Discount Drug Marts. Also find this event online at goallstarclassic.com. All the information you need to know about your trip to uh, Cleveland to join us is there. I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, what do you want to do, Brian? I want to give you an opportunity to 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 invite your family, your friends, the fans of Michigan wrestling, uh, that your fans as as well. What do you want to say to them right now? I uh, you know I just want to say thanks for all the support. Um, you know, especially there's there's been some releases from about the All Star Classic, and everyone's been very supportive of me and, and wishing me good luck. So I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family and uh, Glumbar North High School. Um, you know, it's it's great. So Brian Murphy's been our guest today in the Nike Hot Seat, a three-time NCAA qualifier. Took seventh as a sophomore entering the event. 
with a 59 and 30 career record, something tells me he's going to do his absolute best to stretch that to 60 and 30 career record. Brian, thanks for the time today. I hope you enjoyed it, and we're looking forward to seeing you in Cleveland. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me.